everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swish and reviewing the market. So we have a really interesting market right now because we have the SPY looking one way <clears throat> and we have the QQQs looking another way. Then we have the diamonds looking a completely different way. Okay, so the diamonds are the ETF for the Dow, which has less stocks in it than the QQQs and the SPY. But I mean, it's, it's just really strange right now what we're dealing with. I mean, the spine was down a lot today. It was because of the banks. This was down a little bit. This is the Qs. And this was down, I wouldn't say a lot, but certainly more than the Qs. Let's look at Boeing here. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know why the diamonds were down like that. So. Getting back to what I was saying, it's really, really interesting here when you look at this market. This is this is something we did today. We shorted the market today as a day trade. It's still going. It's going to fall off here into the close. But I will say this, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people think that this move up in the market is over. Like, let me just blow it up. I don't think that it is. So that's my two cents. You have to respect what's happening here in this market. It's been making a lot of brand new all-time highs. I think we're most likely going to not have any tremendous, tremendous moves or change in moves until later in the summer or fall of this year. And, and remember, earnings season starts the second week of July. So we've got about three more weeks till earnings season begins. And then you're going to have stocks that move the market because of earnings. You know, things that affect the market, Apple, Amazon, all the things we love. So. I mean, to say that we're going to fall off a planet here for no reason at all, I'd be shocked. I mean, we had bad numbers yesterday, but, you know, we didn't really react to it. Today, we're down from some statements about higher interest rates. But when you look at the whole thing in totality, because there was many reasons for us to be falling off a cliff, but we haven't done it. So why are you going to think we're going to do it now? You know, and again, I'm not saying we don't have a sell off. We could have a sell off at some point. And I'm giving a, a two-year window, maybe even a three-year window. I mean, you know, but the reality is that this isn't some massive, massive sell-off here today, in my opinion. But we did do this as a day trade short. It's probably going to sell off here into the close. We'll see. 4.15 is in sight. Broke 4.16. Low of the day, I think, was 16. Yeah, 61. So I think we're going to sell off here into the close on a Friday on a summer week. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, if you're interested in learning how I picked this market today, how I knew the market would fall today, at least on the live day to get a trade, uh, then you can learn it in my Golden Gap course. I'm teaching the class next weekend, uh, June 26th and 27th. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up. Have a great day.